Hi guys. You will be absolutely shocked to see that it is a stormy, rainy day here in the end times. In the collapse of everything. We're in New York, baby. But, uh, good God, compared to what's coming tomorrow, as I just sit around helplessly huff, 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 helplessly huff, 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 helplessly huff, 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 that uh, Bugs in a Jar farm is not going to get washed away tomorrow. We are looking at three to five inches of rain uh, coming in from good old Hurricane Debbie and uh, good fucking guy just sitting here waiting with nothing able to do about it I'm just getting as much of the shit out of the way of the floodwaters as I can I've pretty much shut down uh, bugs in a jar farm for the next couple of nights uh, so far let's see since I woke up this morning I've lost two hundred dollars probably another I, I, this will probably cost me three hundred dollars uh, out of my pocket from lost wages and no telling what the fuck else uh, I'm going to be dealing with uh, between the uh, fucking hurricanes and the floods and the cleanup and all of this shit but compared to my uh, my neighbor down the street uh, having that uh, giant party and, 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 and you know I sent the dude an email like going brother you are putting hundreds of people in literal physical danger of their lives by letting them and, and and I get up this morning these clueless fucking morons they're rolling in setting up all along the creek bank dozens of the uh, you know big expensive tents they're parking their cars uh, out there uh, there's goddamn flood warnings being posted uh, all over the fucking place and uh, they go right on uh, about their business uh, partying their uh, partying their way you know getting out there and enjoying it while they still can they are literally literally taking my advice to get out there and enjoy it while they still can right up until the minute uh, hopefully just their tents and, and everything they brought with them goes washing down the river 50-50 uh, on their cars getting flooded uh, with, with, with full fucking knowledge uh, of, of what's uh, barreling in uh, down here next week uh, the, the, these clueless fucking morons just going right on uh, uh, about their fucking business pitching tents uh, uh, along the side of a mountain stream uh, with, with a fucking hurricane blowing in uh, good fucking god uh, what are you going to do with clueless fucking morons? Uh, but I do feel sorry for the guys. So what So what I am doing, speaking of clueless fucking morons, I am now going back to the, to the UPS store to return my fourth laptop computer and the fucking battery. Uh, and and it, it is such a fucking pain in the ass to get in and out of the UPS store in Ithaca, New York. Uh, I drive all the fucking way to Horseheads, New York. Uh, pretty much an hour each direction. So here goes another day. Every one of those motherfucking trips to Best Buy that I made, what was, was that four fucking round trips? to Best Buy that I made completely for nothing. Now I'm making a round trip to fucking Horseheads to return this shit 
and then when they send me the replacement computer I get to start uh, all of my trips back to Best Buy again which hopefully will be narrowed down to two. So assuming that uh, it, it, it's, it, it's going to happen for me this time, six trips, round trips to Best Buy, a round trip to Horseheads, uh, probably, if you add all of this up, uh, 20 hours of my time, probably easily $50 worth of gas, I don't know what they're going to charge me for the fucking box at the UPS store since I told the dude at, uh, at Best Buy when, when he told me your computer looks good as new, he says, what do you want me to do with this box? And, and I said, well, do whatever the fuck you want to with it, dude. Uh, you just told me the computer's good as new. So uh, I, 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 I have my geek at Best Buy. Uh, Osama and two other I, I, I have four computer geeks telling me do not send the computer back Sam until you put the new fucking $30 battery uh, from <coughs> Amazon that is, if, if you put the fucking $30 battery in, in the goddamn computer and charge up the battery chances are that that everything is going to be fine uh, for 30 bucks and, and you're ready to go and, and the goddamn people I bought the computer from said absolutely not uh, if you go up there and, and, and start ripping that computer apart putting in fucking new batteries and all of this shit uh, your, your warranty is invalidated and uh, good fucking God. And, uh, and, and here I am uh, sending this shit back. And uh, they're sending me a fucking replacement computer, which of course is smaller than the computer I wanted, blah, blah, blah. But it actually is. It uh, actually is a better, other than being smaller, I'm actually getting quite a bit better computer other than the size than uh, what I'm sending back. But, but uh, uh, unfucking believable that this has been going on for two weeks. It, it's easily going to go on for another two weeks uh, it, dealing w w with trying to buy a fucking computer. I know I, I've got no one but myself to fucking blame for this. You, you know what I bought. I did not buy an open box computer. I bought a factory sealed box. That, that fucking box had never been opened since at least 2019. Uh, that fucking computer has been sitting on a goddamn shelf in some fucking warehouse. You know, the seller on eBay said, dude, I will 100% uh, guarantee uh, that this works, but, but he goes, I don't have fucking uh, x-ray vision. Uh, I, I've never taken it out of the fucking box. Uh, so, you know, I, I knew I was taking a fucking gamble, and, uh, when I did this, I've, so I've got nobody but my fucking self to blame. Uh, Jesus, but, th but this is the last time I'm doing this shit, that I'm, that, that I'm buying one of these unopened boxes. Now, I did not realize that the fucking box... Uh, it had been there for at least five years and maybe as long as seven years that the that, that the fucking box had been sitting on a shelf from five between five and seven years uh, I might have said I don't think so so, so the fucking new computer that they these guys uh, they have already uh, I said, uh, you've taken the fucking thing out of the box and uh, made sure it still works. And they, and they said that. I, I said, listen, uh, I, I said, okay. I said, before you send me that motherfucker, I want you to take it out of the box again. And I want you to charge the motherfucking battery up. That uh, when I open this motherfucking box, 
I want the computer to fire up. I want a full charge on that motherfucking battery and uh, the SD card reader. The, the SD card reader uh, was not working on this, which was probably, I understand, just, just installing a card driver. Uh, good fucking God. They are, they, they are promising me the computer is going to be working, the battery is going to be fucking charged, the card reader driver is going to be fucking installed. Uh, Jesus fucking Christ. Never ending shit. And, uh, you know, as I was just telling Sandy, this is, this is Sandy uh, behind me here. At least we're going to grab some lunch uh, before the big blow. You know, I was saying, Sandy, I, I said I understand that uh, every human on the planet, th this is just, a, it's, it's just part of the human experience dealing with fucking bullshit. And, and, and this is why that I, that I do all these whiny rants. It's just like, you know, it's just the part of the we are so fucked experience. How much of our fucking lives are eaten with this bullshit? So on one hand, I fully admit that. But on the other fucking hand, I, I don't know of anybody else. Is there anybody else listening to this who does not have one, does not have two, does not have three, but now has four fucking laptop computers, four motherfucking laptop computers in, in, in the goddamn year 2024, and every single one of them is broken down. I, I mean, but between the three that I have, between that one uh, and, and, and the other two, you know, I can do what I need to do, uh, blah, blah, blah. Uh, I, I can uh, do what, what I need to do online. I can make YouTube videos and watch fucking Netflix and surf the web and buy shit I don't need from Amazon. Uh, but good fucking God. Uh, so we will see if computer number five all right it's 2024 i've been having computers now pretty much for 30 fucking years 30 fucking half of my fucking life uh, ago i bought my my first computer i have never gone through anything like i've gone through this summer not not even close i might have gotten up to two broken computers sometime over the last 30 years. I've never been up to four fucking piece of shit broke down computers. Of course, Sandy says, well, Hammond, look at the way you fucking treat uh, your computers. Uh, no fucking uh, wonder you've got four broken computers. Uh. Jesus fucking Christ. But anyway, I'm going to get all this out of the fucking way. And, uh, Jesus fucking Christ. And, uh, get all of this fucking bullshit behind me. Because, uh, I, I, I don't know what the fuck, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be dealing with, uh, tomorrow and, uh, the big cleanup. On Saturday, I, I mean, uh, you know, th there is a chance that fucking tomorrow could be one of the worst days of my fucking life. Uh, I will be testing whether my flood control system uh, keeps the fucking house from uh, getting flooded. Uh, I, I will know tomorrow uh, whether... Uh, four years of work and thousands of dollars uh, into my uh, into my flood control uh, system uh, is working it is going to be put to the full fucking test tomorrow but uh, it, it's uh, I'm just assuming we're not going to have power uh, so I probably won't be able to post any videos 
uh, I won't be able to post any videos uh, tomorrow night because we're not going to have any fucking power. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. Get used to it, guys. Uh, <laughs> the bullshit is just beginning. This fucking uh, fourth dead computer uh, is going to be the least of my fucking worries uh, in 24 hours from now. The, the, this fucking fourth dead computer will be nowhere, will be nowhere uh, in, my, uh, in, in my things to be thinking about tomorrow when uh, I, 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 I could be seriously fucked. And as I say, compared to uh, my neighbor, whatever the fuck I'm dealing with tomorrow, all I have to do is go three blocks down the street and, and see somebody who's really fucked. There's always somebody a hell of a lot more fucked than you are. You know, all of this, you know, all the time, whenever I do a video like this, you know, people, the old line, whether it's depressed people or, or whatever, because there's somebody else on the planet more fucked than you are, you have no right to whine about how fucked you are. You, have, you lose all right to uh, complain about how fucked you are because somewhere on the planet there is somewhere someone is more fucked than you are you know and, 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 and you play that to the end right now somewhere on the planet there is the most fucked person on the planet who will probably be dead in the next five seconds but right now uh, every second it probably changes but out of 8.3 billion fucking billion, whatever it is, somewhere on this planet right now, there is one motherfucker who is the most fucked person on planet Earth. And will be for the next one second. And then they will be replaced by the, uh, the, the, the second most fucked person on the planet. You know, it always gets back to that old Woody Allen line. Uh, is, is if, if you can just keep yourself out of the truly horrible camp and just keep yourself in the basically miserable camp, if you can just, just spend a basically miserable life as a human and stay out of the truly horrible camp, uh, then you are ahead of the game. Just uh, that is the goal to stay out of the truly horrible and uh, consider yourself a winner if you're just basically miserable. So uh, since I consider myself to be basically miserable I guess that makes me a winner. Anyway I'm off to have some Thai food and enjoy it while I still can. Look at these. The, the goddamn uh, road crews are already getting out there setting up for this bullshit. Bye, guys.